Hey guys, I've been seeing this trend on social media where people basically take a bunch of paint, splash it on a piece of canvas, and it sells for tens of thousands of dollars online. Well, I'm not that artistic, so I grabbed one of my L sheds, threw some spray paint on it, signed it for you with the number one, and listed it on eBay. If you're interested, the link is in the bio. Well guys, as you can see by the thumbnail and then that short little video, I am gonna auction off some elk antlers, starting with this one for now, just one. So the funny thing is, even though you just saw the thumbnail, the title, and you got to see that short little video clip I made on my TikTok account. Yes, I do have TikTok. I guess that's what all the kids are doing. You guys can follow me on TikTok. I'll put a link to the, my TikTok page in the description box if you're, if you're on the platform. I'm gonna sell an antler, but we're about to do the whole project right now. So let me show you what I just got. Took a quick trip to Home Depot. Now if this whole antler auction goes well, We'll make a bunch of them, but I got black paint, white paint, and gray paint, and then these paint Sharpies. Now the tough part, which one of these antlers in this year's stack should I make for my first antler auction? I don't know where this is gonna go or how this is gonna go, but I've gotten comments across all my platforms for years. Hey Eric, you know, can I buy just one antler from you? I think some people do want them in their collection, like this comment here as like a conversation piece or just something from me. Some people always ask me, hey, I just need an elk antler for a project, knife handles, dog chews or anything like that. And usually I just steer them to my friends who sell dog chews or an antler buyer. So they can just pick one out and use it for whatever they need. But this, I think selling my personal stack could just be a fun little project and interesting. So the thing I'm gonna do now is actually pick one out of this stack to be antler number one. And again, if this does go good, I'll number each one I sell and put my little signature on forever. And who knows, maybe we'll start a trend. Oh boy, let's see. Let's see if this one can come out of there. Could this be number one? It's a pretty cool shed, I don't know. This might be the one. It's a dense antler. I remember finding this on my first elk shed hunt of the year. Oh, classic framed six point, nice and dark. That might be it. All right guys, so what got me inspired to do something like this is one, the comments I've always gotten. Two, it's like a trend on social media, like it said in the short clip, where people are doing these artistic things and they're selling for thousands of dollars, sometimes tens of thousands of dollars. Now, I do not expect this to go for thousands of dollars. By the way, there's a link to the eBay auction listing if you guys are interested. The link is in the description box. You should at least just go check it out and see where it's at. Here's the idea. I take a, uh, an elk antler. If I carry this on, it could be a whitetail shed, a mule deer shed, axis shed. I just want to start with an elk shed because this is my number one request. For this brown one, I think I'm going to put a white band around it. And what I mean is I'm going to use some masking tape to tape off a section about, I don't know, yay big, right in between here, and then paint it white and then sign it. So the idea of that is just to make something different and I'm kind of like, I guess in a way, branding it. It'll be recognizable. We're gonna see how an antler takes on spray paint. I don't know what to expect. So we're gonna throw this on and just tape it. Just wanted to leave enough space to kind of hit a, a white spot right here. If I were to use a paintbrush, I think it'd bleed underneath the tape in some of these bumpy spots, which it might do with the spray paint, but I think with the spray paint, we might have a better chance to make a clean line. So let's hit it and see how it does. Oh boy, maybe I'm gonna ruin this thing. I have no clue. I'll let that dry for a little bit. Kind of looks cool with the white and the blue. Maybe I'll have to make an American flag version one of these days. I don't know, that's kind of cool looking. All right, there it is. A couple coats on there. It says it needs an hour before you can handle it. 
20 minutes it should be dry to the touch and in an hour you can handle it so uh, we'll give it some time well should we take it off I think we should take it off see how it turned out well it's not gonna be perfect I figured it wouldn't be with all the texture Hmm, how to fix that problem? Hmm, pretty dang clean line right there. Not bad, there, there's not as much texture on that left side. Well, instead of signing it last night, I decided to let it dry overnight and I'm gonna put my signature on it. So, this is how it turned out. There's a little bit of, uh, you know, bled over through the tape, of course, but from a distance, just kind of looks cool. Some people are going to be like, dang, you ruined it by painting it. Maybe some people will like it. I don't know. Maybe if I keep doing these, I'll do them all different and different styles, but I've got my marker pen. I'm going to sign it and put a number one on it because it's the first one I've ever done. Still seems sticky. <laughs> so hard. There we go, the finished product. That's it. Signature didn't turn out so perfect. These things are hard to sign with all the texture, but this is going on eBay. Guys, I'm gonna list this for auction. Start it with like 99 cent auction and just see what happens. Again, if you guys wanna go check out the eBay listing, at least go check it out. I'll put the link right in the top of the description box. Let's see how much number one will sell for <laughs> this is gonna be fun anyways guys that's just a real quick video of my new project again if this goes well i can do all kinds of stuff like that we can always do different ones different colors sign it not sign it i don't know if you guys have any ideas put them in the comment box let me know what you guys think make sure you go check out the ebay listing uh thanks for watching see you guys on the next video